Nothing's been going on. Our eighth. Tell, tell him about the museum. I'm telling. I'm telling. Our eighth grade dance is May 21st. Bye. I'm going to Walmart. And um. And well, see how much she cares. And our Disney World trip is Mar is May 19th. See how many times and on Friday we went to the Discoveries Museum. Oh. Um, the Discovery Center. It's nice. It's across the street from the Broward Performing Arts Center. We had fun. We went there and then we went and we looked around for like an hour or two for the bus station because um, we didn't know where in the heck we were supposed to pick Grandma up. So we so we just. Drove around there, and Mom got all crazy. I'm lost. I don't even know, I know where I am. And she started driving like a crazy gas. person. Gas. Uh -uh. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. No, yeah. you went. Yes, you did. You went <laughs> all over the place. You had no idea what you were doing. Just said, stop driving crazy. And, and I said, stop driving like an idiot. And she said, maybe I want to drive like an idiot. I did. I'm in Fort Lauderdale. You're supposed to drive like an idiot in Fort Lauderdale. And then we went to Hot and Now. There's a Hot and Now in that shopping center near where you used to work. Down there where the Zayers used to be, and now it's when Dixie Marketplace, they put a Hot and Now there. So you left right when they were putting a Hot and Now near your office where you could eat. <gasps> Of you yes. should be. You want to watch five shots? See, see how see many I make. Checkers a couple of times. We like checkers. Oh, how are you both? Yeah, checkers is good. They have good banana milkshakes. I've made one, two of three. Am I ready? Two out of three. Two the basketball is probably getting boring. I'm looking for the cat. There oh. she is. Two out of five. That's She's sorry. pretty. Ready to come on, uh -huh. Yes, she is. Where's the honey bear? She's nice. She just doesn't like to be picked up. Well, not for long, anyway. It's just a couple. Of, oh, oh, she has to come and rub against me. There's that line across the sky, across the sky from that plane. Whoop! Gotta get up. Well, I guess this is really exciting. Chris? Yeah. Well, hold on, and I'll be right back. <laughs> There's a poopy. Boys are silly. Yep. Hold on. Let me focus in on you because it's far out. Okay. Talk. Now, that little stop we had, Jessica, Jessica forced me into telling you something and I didn't even want to because uh, I didn't have anything to tell. Well, I told him you wanted to hear about what's been going on. So, I'll tell you about this. Jessica and Jeremy, they, Jessica wanted to sleep over Jocelyn's house which is Jeremy's sister. But she couldn't go unless I went. And I didn't want to f keep her back from going. So, I went with her. Now, isn't that good bro- that not that a good brother? Anyways, getting back to the story. Yeah, we had fun. We we went swimming, and we made chocolate chip cookies. Oh, thanks a lot. That was what I was going to tell her. Tell well, her. you could still tell it. I didn't add any details or anything. And... Since I went, Jessica slept in Jocelyn's room and I slept in Jeremy's. And Jeremy's really nice. And I had a nice, comfortable little pallet on the floor. And yeah, they drug a mattress in there for him to sleep on. They drug a mattress in there for Jessica to sleep on and she didn't even sleep on it. Because Jocelyn snored like crazy. Nuh-uh. Jocelyn had one of those beds that you can pull the bed out from under it. Oh, whatever. So, but anyways. Jocelyn snores so loud, I had to get up. At, well, we, we, I woke up at 8.30 and nobody else was up. So I went and I laid down next to Chris because I couldn't stand to lay next to Jocelyn anymore. So, anyways, 
we stayed up late at night and we looked at the stars and and we walked on his dad's boat and early the next day we went to the pool and we rode in this little boat across a deep canal but it was safe because Jeremy was a good driver yeah Jocelyn, they have two boats Jocelyn, was a Jocelyn is a crazy driver she yeah, spins she around in circles and but rocks the safe. boat back and forth and stuff well we we swam and I made a friend while on at the pool on just one visit I made a friend. Uh-oh. Well anyways, I didn't find out his name. Back. I didn't find out his name, but we did make up a well I did find out his name but I forgot it. But anyway, <laughs> we made up this we made up this little game called Shark Barrier. And where the little pole crosses that, that you can walk down, that was a little barrier. And if the other kid passed it, then the barrier opened and the shark can chase him. But if he passes, passes, pushes a sign that says like two feet or three feet, the shark has to stay still for 10 seconds. And then if the other player can tap the sign, a sign on the other end of the little area, on the other side of the barrier, like a four feet sign or something, then the door, the barrier closes and the shark can't get him. But if the shark can hold on to the body part for at least two seconds, then the, then the shark wins and the shark is now the victim. And the victim is now um, the shark. Um, Chris? Yeah? I don't think he cares. <laughs> We made cookies and we sat up and Jeremy played uh, the hokey pokey yeah, on the pokey piano. Yeah, hokey pokey. I danced to it. Because they have no furniture in their living room except a piano. And we had this little wrestling match one night. And Jeremy and Jessica thought me and Jocelyn liked each other. But oh, yeah. And monkeys might fly out my butt. And. They had tons of food. They had like three boxes. I've never seen so many groceries in all my life. They had cookie crisp and oh, what kind of cereals did they have? Cookie crisp, uh, can't think of any of They had everything. They had like three boxes of cookie crisp. But then again, you don't care. So, <laughs> so. let's go see. Let's go see her. Here she is. Hey. Ooh, she looks comfortable. She looks mean. <coughs> Yumblebillies. Well, anyways, I've been sleeping in mom's room since grandma was here. And I sleep on the other side of the bed. And, and I use her bathroom, that's really fun, and I've been taking showers more often. And it's really, really fun. <sighs> Jess, you want one more rematch? Yeah, hold on. Just, oh, okay. okay, Chris wants to show you some books that he just got. From here, can you sure he can read it? He wants to show you some books that he checked out at the library. These are, these are really neat books because they're based on it. These are really great books, but you don't have to take my word for it. Doo -doo -doo. It's the Young Indiana Jones Chronicles based on the Chris, Prime I Prime have Street. a thing that zooms in. Okay. And it's got, I, I, I checked out four. This is just three. And um, one of them's, the one that's not here is called Masters of the Louvre. And it's got Picasso and Norman Rockwell and Degas, whatever, whatever his first name is. And I got the two other ones. I got two young Indiana Jones ones, like the nine-year-old, and two, like, 18-year-old ones. I don't know how old he's supposed to be. I got the Masters of the Louvre and the Valley, number one. This is the first one that was made. Uh, the Valley of the Kings. And I think this one was on TV. Anyways, I've got this one, Revolution in Russia, number three. And that one's one of the 18 ones. And 
there's not 18 of them, but one of the ones that Indiana Jones is like 18. And this one I'm sure was on TV, South of the Border. It's the one where he goes into Mexico or something. I, I'm almost positive it was on. But anyways, these are choose your own adventure books. So even if you have seen the series, you can still do something different. I guess it doesn't really make a difference what you do. But anyways, I wanted to show these to you because I thought you might be interested in it. So I'll just set these over here. And me and Jessica want to put bug spray on. We're gonna have one more rematch. And don't you dare get up from that couch or seat. Just keep on watching. We yeah. don't care if you're bored out of your mind. <laughs> Mom and Grandma went to Walmart, and they'll be back in a little while. So till then, you're stuck with us. And Hold you on. Not leave.